Activities, I really like the dates. So to come back to this. Putt putt golf is fun because it's childish. Because it's childish, you're not taking yourself too seriously. Because you're not taking, unless, if you're a professional golfer, don't go to putt putt golf. <laughs> it's not fun for anyone then. You've got to be shit house, because presumably she's shit house as well, because I'm presuming you're not dating a professional golfer. And then it's fun, because you're both totally cracked together. It takes you 10 swings to get it in the hole. It doesn't matter, it's fun. You make fun of each other, you're constantly in motion, the environment gives you something to talk about. Eh. How many guys have taken the girls in this audience to putt putt golf? It's just different, it's just playful. And she'll likely tell her friends about it. Number two, ice skating. Again, if you're a good ice skater, don't bother. Okay, it, it's just about action, it's about movement, it's about fun, it's a safe place to take a girl, it's not like it's a, you know, scary place to go, but you build rapport and you have fun. These things are about creating emotional escalation, that's what you get. Heightened emotions shared together. Picnic in a park. Meet a girl in the city. Uh, go to Coles, just literally buy, have a, a rug in your backpack, buy some baguette and dip, and, and go down and sit down in Hyde Park on a blanket and eat baguette and dip. These little things make for nice, quaint little dates, but they're different. They're out of the ordinary. She will tell her friends about it. You will stand out from the crowd. Shopping. Now, you are not taking her shopping and buying her lots of fancy things. <laughs> shopping as in. Take her shopping with you. You, are, you need to buy clothes. You need to buy things. You need to buy something different. There have been a lot of times where, before I was in a relationship, I thought, you know what? I'd rather have a girl tell me what she thinks look good, looks good on me than for me to use my best judgment. So if I was going to go on a date, I'd say, hey, you know what? I've got to, I'm actually trying to buy myself some clothes. How about, how about you come with me and help me pick something that's going to look right on me, and I'll totally shout you lunch. Yeah? But now you're moving. Now you can, you can have fun. You can poke fun at her tastes and you. She'll dress you up in something silly just because she's trying to be creative, right? You will wear something that's too small and look like an idiot, and it's fun. You're laughing at each other. It becomes an enjoyable date. Shopping that, in that type of way can be great. Number five, rock climbing. But again, pick the right girls for the right activities. There's so many different activities you can do, but, you know, don't take a girl rock climbing who's clearly not going to enjoy it. If she's an outdoorsy type or she likes exercising, blah, 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 she's probably going to like rock climbing. It's something different. And rock climbing is great. Why? <laughs> you can check out her ass. Who said that? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's one of the benefits. But that wasn't where I was going for. Uh, <laughs> well, I like your way you think. Um, yes, rock climbing. Well, rock climbing is actually great because you have her life in your hands. Literally. If she falls off the wall, you're the thing that's going to stop her from hitting the ground really hard. It's actually a very nice trust control situation that gets created at rock climbing. It's a very nice activity for a date. But again, she has to be the right type of girl, or she's totally going to hate it to pieces. And they're just examples. There's so many things you can do. These things are a lot more fun than let's sit down at coffee. How's your week been? Awesome. Yep. Makes it fun. And when you've had a great fun first date, other things can happen. As I said, it doesn't matter. If you're trying to get laid, that stuff's good. If you're looking for a relationship, that stuff's good. It applies both. It doesn't matter where you're trying to take this relationship. It doesn't matter where you're trying, trying to go with this date. Create heightened emotional experiences. You'll get better results either way. Hey guys, do you get frustrated approaching women and then getting rejected? I'd like to invite you to my free 12 video training series where I'm going to show you how to make such an amazing first impression before you even say a word that rejection will soon become a thing of the past. See that button down there? Don't procrastinate anymore. Go ahead and click on it and I look forward to working with you.